Dan here with Dan's Gaming Van. Today we're going to be quickly going over how to get your Moza R9 wheelbase, and I believe this applies for other Moza wheelbases as well, how to get them working on Forza Horizon 5. This is a, a video that I really couldn't find on the internet when I was looking for it, so hopefully this will help a couple people out. It's extremely quick and easy to get your wheel working on Forza Horizon 5. But first, if you guys want to mind dropping a like, it really helps out with the algorithm. If you guys are into sim racing or van life gaming, any of those things or a combination of them, consider hitting the subscribe button. Also consider checking out the other videos on our channel where we discuss Moza versus Thrustmaster. I do a complete unboxing and review of the Moza R9 CS wheel and SRP pedals. And the uh, next level racing stand review, we've got a lot of sim racing stuff and gaming, traveling stuff in general. So consider checking it out, but let's jump right into the video. First thing you're going to want to do is plug in your wheelbase, your pedals, and your wheel. Make sure everything's connected. Move around your wheel and your pedals on the app. Make sure everything's working. Then on the bottom left, you're going to see a thing that looks like a little person. You're going to click on that. And then on the top right of those settings, you're going to go to experimental functions. Then in the middle of the page, you'll see a base horizon compatibility mode. You're going to want to turn that on. And when you turn that on, your wheel will disconnect and reconnect, as you can see right here. Once that happens, you can just minimize your Moza application or just pull up Forza over top of it. Once you get into Forza, spawn into a car, you'll notice that the light is still flashing on your wheel, everything is still connected, but when you go to drive, you won't have any force feedback. So what the next step is, you're just gonna simply turn off your wheel, leave the game on, don't change anything, don't disconnect anything, don't turn on any other controllers, just turn your wheelbase off, wait about a second, and then turn your wheelbase right back on, wait for it to get booted up completely, and then your wheel should be working with full force feedback, the ability to tune your force feedback in the Moza app, and it should run just about as any other game runs. I haven't figured out how to get the RPM uh, lights working, the LED lights working yet. I don't know if you even can on Forza at all, if they support that. Uh, but if we do figure that out, we'll do an updated video. If you guys know how to do that, drop a comment. If you guys have any questions on anything, drop a comment. If you can't figure out how to get it working or, or anything like that, feel free to uh, reach out and ask me on Instagram or in the comments below. But that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Consider watching our Moza review video, our Moza versus Thrustmaster video, our next level racing stand unboxing and review video, some other good sim racing content. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you being here. Drop a like if you made it this far. Put a smiley face in the comments if you watched till the very end. I appreciate your guys' support. I hope to see you in one of the live streams on Twitch or TikTok. And if you're looking to purchase any Moza products, there's a link in the description that I get a small commission off of. So if you're trying to show some support and you're going to be mine a Moza wheel anyways, you might as well use the link. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your uh, sim racing and have a good rest of your day. Peace. Yo, why are you still here? You should have left by now. Uh, click on one of these videos. I bet you'll like them. Also, check out our channel. There's a lot of stuff to see there. Also, we go live on Twitch and TikTok almost every day. If you enjoy the content, if you want to keep up with our uh, van life journey and travels, the TikTok and Instagrams where you can find more stuff about that. So, I'll see you.